we're open to start a dialogue. We know that these things can end fairly quickly once people start talking. As the MPI strike continues on in its third week, there's some optimism a deal could be struck as both the union and MPI prepare to meet with an agreed upon conciliator. Manitoba government and general employees union president Kyle Ross speaking with picketing Manitoba public insurance workers Wednesday morning. His appearance comes on the heels of MPI and the MGEU preparing to meet with a conciliator Thursday. They chose to offer 2% for all our members when CPI is running high, where, where food, groceries, everything's gone up and they're continuing to offer 2% and they could have had a fair reasonable offer. It's, it's really unfortunate. Both MPI and the MGEU last week agreed to enter conciliation. MPI workers first walked off the job on August 28th, with MPI saying they have offered to enter arbitration as a way to wrap up the strike. Binding arbitration takes the vote away from our members, so that, that deal would be imposed on our members and they wouldn't have a say on where, where on their on their next four years of their, their career. What a conciliator does is they try and um, urge the parties toward a, a settlement on their own. So often a conciliator can um, uh, remove some roadblocks that exist within bargaining, often frankly on the side of the employer who becomes dug in about like how much they're going to give in terms in this case of wages. The MGEU has been asking for wages to keep up with the cost of living and alleges MPI has offered workers a yearly 2% wage increase over four years. MPI says the offer they presented to the union carries an increase of up to 17% in total monetary value. The MGEU says the 17% wage increase value is misleading since it also takes into account non-wage items, one-time payments and other items that only apply to a select group of workers. When the employer says that they've offered 17%, I think we need to think about that with a grain of salt because that's not what the workers are going to get. They were always going to get whatever benefits are bargained into their collective agreement. In a statement to City News, MPI said they remain optimistic heading into conciliation, but wouldn't be commenting further. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.